Good morning. We are going to do another Qigong for beginners today. And um, in this, we're going to be looking at qi and the idea of your qi and moving your qi. I'm just going to see if there are any questions before we get started. And I'm going to get this set up. All right. Good morning. Welcome. Um, today in Qigong for Beginners, we're going to be looking at qi and the idea of moving your qi. So we'll go ahead and get started. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the chat and I'll answer them after we go through the through this sequence. All right. Um, Qigong, as we've talked about, is comprised of two words in Chinese. One is qi, which is really translated as air, movement, energy. There's not an exact perfect translation in English. And then gong, which is skill. So we are practicing being skilled, moving our qi. Um, oftentimes, we really just start focusing on the movement, which is great because when we focus on the movement, whether we're aware of our chi or not, that chi is moving. And I want to take some time today, though, to really help make sure that you can practice on your own and start feeling your chi. Um, I know I'm wearing a Namaste yoga shirt, but this um, this flamingo really captures for me this idea of connecting to your chi. The chi is effortless. It's this energy within you, this vibration, if you will. And when you feel this vibration, you come to a state of calm. You can tune in and notice when your vibration's too frenetic or crazy and bring it back to center, this idea of calm. So forgive the namaste, although I do wish you namaste, which is honoring who you are. And um, just re really think about this idea of calm. We're going to get started just by centering with a movement. Inhale your hands out to the side, bring them up and over, and exhale down through center. Bring one hand up with the other in a loose fist to greet it, and set the intention to use your imagination and to tune into your senses to begin to understand your chi. Release. The first best exercise to help you um, ground your chi is to really make sure your body's in the proper alignment. When your body is centered on the earth, you can begin to imagine this drawing up of energy from the earth and this drawing down of energy from the heavens. And I'm going to give you two key points to begin we call it your mind's eye, but imagination is also a great way to think about it. So place all five toes firmly on the ground on each foot. So all 10 toes down, the inside and outside of the balls of your feet and the inside and outside of the heels of your feet. And just feel these nine points of contact on each foot rooted into the earth. Then just behind the ball of your foot in that middle, not the very center of the foot, but that little notch that's behind the ball of your foot, you're going to imagine a stream of light in each foot. So this beautiful stream of light coming up from the earth into your feet. And just use your imagination to picture this light. And that light is going to move up your feet, your ankles, your legs, and into this area behind and below the navel called the lower dantian. And just imagine this. It doesn't have to be real. Some of you, when you imagine this light, you're going to feel this energy. You're going to actually feel a tingling sensation following the path of the light up each leg and into the lower dantian. The next point of our posture is we want to make sure our tailbone is ever so slightly tucked forward and that you imagine you have a heavy weight pulling you down from the perineum. 
And this is going to open up. So let's go back now with the tailbone tucked in heavy, that light again. So that point of light coming up through your feet, through your ankles, over the fronts and backs of your legs, just moving all the way through to this lower dantian. And you picture a little reservoir here holding this energy. And we're going to continue moving up the body now, lengthening out the spine, separating each of the vertebrae as if you're pulling a little bit of space between each vertebrae, like you would create space on a beaded or pearl necklace. And really reach that up all the way through the spine. And as those reach up, your shoulders are pressing down, your hands down. And now you're going to have the top of your head. We talked about the Baihui point in another lesson, but let's review it. Bring your fingertips to the tops of your ears and touch your skull. Slide your fingertips up to the top of your head where they meet. This area is the Baihui point. And as you stand, your arms are relaxed, your feet are still grounded. We're now going to imagine a light, a beam of light. Really get that beam pictured in your imagination. Just see it. And picture that coming down into your head through this Baihui point. It's going to move down the center of your body along the front and back. So just kind of picturing that center point down internally through your spine. And it's going to collect and gather again in this lower Dantian, lower energy center. So just tuning into this light energy, just visualize it again. If you're sensitive to your chi and chi coming in, you can feel a tingling sensation as this light moves down. Feel it coming down into this point. Now, see if you can divide your imagination and picture both the earth chi and the heavenly chi coming in at the same time. So get your light of energy from the earth now get your light of energy from your head. It's kind of like when you pat your head and rub your tummy. You can do it. You'll, you'll get there. So picture both points of energy coming in, coming in, moving up and moving down. And then they gather together at this lower dantian. Keep this posture as you're open, whether you focus on the chi coming in from the earth or the heavens, when you're in proper alignment, even if you're out of proper alignment, the chi is going to enter. But when you're in proper alignment, the chi can flow more evenly and freely. So it just is always good to begin any practice doing the proper alignment. And periodically throughout, I'll remind you, but even when you're practicing on your own, check that alignment again. We're going to do a couple of exercises now that we have our alignment to really generate and feel the chi more vividly. We'll begin by rubbing the hands really firmly. You want to feel heat being generated. Heat is chi. It's this invisible entity, right? You can't see heat. You can't watch its color. Well, I guess you could. If you, people turn red, you can see a color. But really, the heat itself, we see the effect of the heat on the skin. And we feel the effect because now we feel this warmth. And in Chinese medicine, that is the chi. So as you stop rubbing your hands, you will probably feel different in your hands now. And you should feel this buzzing energy, just this tingling in the hands. That is your chi coming to this area. Rub again because you focused your attention there. You focused your energy there. So the chi is now moving. And to further tune into this chi, we're going to do a chi ball exercise. And the way this works is you're going to move your palms together and draw your palms apart. Your palms need to face each other. There are two very important energy points, Lao Gong points, pericardium eight, 
And these are incredibly powerful sources for chi movement and absorption. Just like the point top points on our feet and on the top of our head, this is a point. So as you press, you should almost feel a magnetic resistance. Just looks like you're pushing something in. And as you open and expand, it's almost like stretching taffy or stretching slime, if you remember that as a kid, pulling apart and feeling that energy and pressing in. For many of you, you'll feel it, the energy better when your hands are closer together. So just keep your energy close. As you pull further apart, people more sensitive to chi, you can see how far do your hands go before you notice the chi energetic dissipate. So just continue moving this chi energy ball. As you practice this and become more attuned to the chi in this simple exercise, you'll become more attuned to the chi um, when we go through the whole practice together, different practices together. Let's rub the hands together. Again, let's close that chi energy. It's always nice to ground the energy um, when you're moving on to something different unless you're in a sequence that you want to keep that energy flowing. So since we're going to rub again, let's we closed it. Rub your palms together again. And now bring one hand underneath and the other hand on top. Keep the lower hand stable as you raise and lower the upper hand. Just nice and easy movement. Inhale as you move apart. Exhale as you press closer. Tuning in to this magnetic resistance as you press in and this pulling opening sensation as you draw up. And just feel that. You might not feel it. That is very natural, right? Very normal. When people begin qigong and moving their qi, it's kind of a leap of faith. You're like, I don't feel it. And you have to have the faith that you're still moving it. But what you're looking for is really this magnetic energy is the best way to describe it. This tingling energy um, or at the very, very least, look for something that feels different. When you press down, how is that different from when you pull up? Difference is the chi. So difference, the words, the cues I'm giving might not resonate with you. You might have to find your own descriptors for difference. Now bring your hands back to the side and now bring the other hand underneath and moving closer and it will feel different with which hand is moving and which is still again the difference is what you're trying to identify how is it different when you exhale and press down and when you inhale and draw out really connect to your breath exhale pressing in Inhale, draw up. So find that resistance and stretching or whatever difference is resonating for you. Now bring the hands to the side and let's do this ball again. Um, hopefully you can feel a little tingling in your palms and fingers. You can feel like imagine and see if you if you're very visual it's helpful to gaze between your palms and picture what are you squishing together and what are you drawing apart that's another great way to connect with your chi is to see it are you pressing light a light beam together and then expanding it are you pressing water in and reaching and expanding the water out just gaze softly as you inhale and open, exhale and press.
And let's continue working with our energy balm, bringing it a little smaller. And we're going to start rolling the ball. And the best way to think about rolling the ball is make sure that your palms are always facing each other. Everyone's going to kind of think of a way, find a way that keeps their palms together best. I, it's very helpful for me when I think about rolling one hand forward, one hand back. And I just, you know, one hand's coming forward, the bottom hand comes forward as the upper hand comes back. So think about how do you keep your palms facing each other? It's very tricky. Don't worry if you don't get it today. But now we're going to start rolling this ball from side to side. Keep your gaze in the ball. Where the mind goes, the chi follows. And also where the eyes go, the chi follows. So, And just gently really picture this chi. And do you want to make it bigger ball? Is your chi strong and can you feel this big energy moving? Or is it really, oh, I'm having a hard time feeling it. I need to keep it really tight, really small, maybe even just moving it right in front of your lower dantian. And just explore. If you ever lose the feeling of chi, those of you that feel it, keep moving. Um, if you feel like you've lost it, settle that energy. Rub your palms together again. Feel that warmth. Do a couple of the, you know, inhale, open, exhale, close, and then come in again. Really come into rolling. And now we're going to move this chi ball in a slightly different way and bring it to center. And we're going to lower the ball and lift it up to one side. As you come down, bend your legs. And we're going to inhale through and exhale as we lift. Inhale as you bring the ball through center. Exhale as you lift. And again, keep your gaze. When we bend the legs and we move the arms, we're pumping this chi through the body. So again, try and feel the chi between your hands. Focus. What does this energy look like? Again, if you're very visual, picture this energy that you're moving. Really get a good color or image and eventually it will become second nature you you do need to practice its chi gong developing skill so don't worry if it takes you some time all right let's come back to center we'll roll the ball a little bit more a light heart always moves your chi better, so have a playful attitude. If you come and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't feel it, I can't move it, don't get frustrated. Just be like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm playing with the ball here. Just bring a lighthearted attitude and know that even if you don't feel it, you're still moving it, and eventually you will feel the chi. All right, let's settle. We have one more exercise that we frequently do in the Qigong practices as part of the warm-up, which is shaking. Shaking is an incredible way to feel your qi because it's so vigorous and it actually breaks up the qi stagnation and activates the qi in your body. So it's easier to feel that buzzing, tingling sensation. We're going to shake each of our four limbs one at a time and tune in each time to what you notice in your arm and hand or your leg and foot. Then we'll do a whole body shaking and have you tune in to what that feels like. Actually, we have two more. We're going to do shaking and then patting. But let's go ahead and shake first. 
take your left, um, your arm, either arm, and just shake it really vigorously. Lean forward a little so it's nice and loose in the shoulder. Really shake, smile, and then pause. Tune into that arm. You can compare it to the other arm. Notice that it might have a lighter feeling, almost like it's going to float away compared to the weightedness of the other hand. Notice kind of this flowing, tingling sensation all the way down. And again, if those words don't work for you, notice what's different. Compare the left to the right and try and come up with a label for the difference. Now let's shake the right. Really bend, nice slight bend. Get a good shake. Get the shoulder in there. And now release and all the way down. Tune in from the shoulder down. Do you notice the buzzing, kind of sparkly, tingly feeling? Do you feel the warmth generated, the openness? Or what do you feel? Notice again the difference. Now put your weight into one leg so you can really shake. If you need to hold on to something, that's great. Just really get the foot and the leg shaking. If you have to step down, that's fine. <laughs> it's hard to balance while you shake, believe me. It's not easy. And now pause. And actually, before you set the foot down, notice can you feel the toes and the feet? And then as you set down, just what do you feel comparing the two legs and the feet? Just that opening up. And let's put the weight in the other foot and shake the other leg. Really get that moving, get that going. Hold on to something if you need. And just tune in to the buzzing before you set the foot down. Because as you set it down, you're going to have that transfer to the earth. And then tune in. So practice those methods. And we're going to do one more method for you to practice to really feel feel the chi in your body and it's it's patting so what we're going to do is we're going to pat down the inside of one of the arms and pat up the outside pat down the inside nice and firmly shouldn't hurt but you should definitely feel that you've got this energy moving and we'll do one more Okay, and tune in. You should feel the sensation of the blood and chi rising to the outer parts of the arm. You feel a difference between this arm and the other. You can even, maybe even, you'll feel something in that palm of the hand that was doing the padding. But just notice. So that brings blood and chi up to the surface. And so that's a great way to tune in to the movement of chi. Let's go to the other arm. Really try and pat all of the places. You have a lot of meridian points on your arms, inside and outside. This is just great to do any time during the day, whether you're focusing on chi or not. We'll do one more. Okay, now focus in, tune in. And both arms should probably still feel the invigorated. The one that you just patted more invigorated than the first. And that is chi, that warmth, that feeling, that buzzing sensation coming to the surface of your skin. That is your chi. And again, if you need a different label, how is your arm different after patting than before? If you notice no difference, it's just going to take you more time to listen to your body. Um, we just tune out our bodies. There are so many distractions in the world around us that we stop listening and Qigong helps you listen to your body again for healing. Um, there are also leg padding exercises that you can do. And let's go ahead and we're gonna pat down the outside and up the outside of our legs first. Really nice and firm. Your legs can handle a little bit more pressure. We'll do one more time here. And now let's pat down the back of your legs. And then up 
One more time. Oh, actually, we'll do one more now. And now we're going to do the insides. Do loose fists for the insides or palms. You might need to step your feet a little bit wider apart. And last one. And now we're going to do the front of the legs. Last one. All right, stand. Check your posture because we were folding forward. Get a quick scan, feet grounded, reaching up, and tune into your legs now. Notice the buzzing and tingling, wonderful vibration of the legs, that blood and chi flowing to the surface the incredible energy you're generating there. And that is chi. All of these different things you experience today are ways to tune into and feel your chi. So take time to practice. You can rewatch this video. It'll be on the live feed. Um, you can you know, just pat during your day or move your chi ball. You can do your shaking. The key is to listen to your body. It's an amazing communicator. And the when you become more in tune with your chi and you can listen to your body, eventually you'll be able to hear when illness is setting in, before you get very sick, when disease is setting in. And that is how Qigong can help you with your health and longevity. Let's close our practice by pulling down the heavens Inhaling the hands up, exhale through center. You might be more sensitive to the chi you're gathering in and moving now. That would be so cool. Inhale up, exhale down. We'll do one more. Inhale, exhale down through center. Step your feet together, place your hands on the lower dantian, one hand on top of the other. Close your eyes because now we're just going to let the chi settle. We're going to let the chi move where it needs to go within our body. Rock and sway, don't control, let your body just move. Movement is chi. We have no movement without chi. Our blood doesn't move, our bodies don't move. So this, if you focus on movement, you're focusing on chi. Take a couple of deep breaths. And release your hands. Bring one hand up with a loose fist to greet it. Thank you for joining me for this uh, Qigong beginner lesson. It's great for experienced um, people, experienced with Qigong to do as well, to have that healthy reminder of how to move our chi. All right, I'm going to check and see if anyone has any questions. For the chat. Okay, so you guys feel good? All right, I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. You can always come back and add a comment, a question in the comments later if you need. Um, definitely happy to help, especially if you're kind of struggling to feel the chi. I know it can be tricky. All right, have a great day. Bye, you guys.